The World Boxing Council (WBC) is one of four major organizations which sanction world championship boxing bouts alongside the International Boxing Federation (IBF), World Boxing Association (WBA), and World Boxing Organization (WBO). Many historically high-profile bouts have been sanctioned by the organization with various legendary fighters having been recognized as WBC world champions. All four organizations recognize the legitimacy of each other, and each have interwoven histories dating back several decades. History It was initially established by 11 countries, the United States, Puerto Rico, Argentina, United Kingdom, France, Mexico, Philippines, Panama, Chile, Peru, Venezuela and Brazil. Representatives met in Mexico City on 14 February 1963, upon invitation of Adolfo López Mateos, then President of Mexico, to form an international organization to unify all commissions of the world to control the expansion of boxing. The groups that historically had recognized several boxers as champions included the New York State Athletic Commission, the National Boxing Association of the United States, the European Boxing Union and the British Boxing Board of Control BBBC, but for the most part, these groups lacked the all-encompassing international status they claimed, today, it has 161 member countries. The current WBC president is Mauricio Suleiman. Former presidents include Luis Spotter and Ramon G. Balathquez of Mexico, Justiniano N. Montano Jr. of the Philippines, and José Suleiman of Mexico from 1975 until Suleiman's death in 2014. Championship The WBC's Green Championship belt portrays the flags of all of the 161 member countries of the organization. All WBC world title belts look identical regardless of weight class, however, there are minor variations on the design for secondary and regionally themed titles within the same weight class. The WBC has nine regional governing bodies affiliated with it, such as the North American Boxing Federation the Oriental and Pacific Boxing Federation the European Boxing Union and the African Boxing Council Although rivals, the WBC's relationship with other sanctioning bodies has improved over time and there have even been talks of unification with the WBA. Unification bouts between WBC and other organizations' champions are becoming more common in recent years. Throughout its history, the WBC has allowed some of its organization's champions to fight unification fights with champions of other organizations, although there were times it stepped in to prevent such fights. For many years, it also prevented its champions from holding the WBO belt. When a WBO recognized champion wished to fight for a WBC championship, he had to abandon his WBO title first, without any special considerations. This, however, is no longer the case. In 1983, following the death of Kim Duk Koo from injuries sustained in a 14 round fight against Ray Mancini, the WBC took the unprecedented step of reducing the distance of its world championship bouts, from 15 rounds to 12 a move other organizations soon followed for boxers' safety. Among those to have been recognized by the WBC as world champions were the undefeated and undisputed champion 46-0 Joe Calzaghe, Floyd Mayweather Jr. 50-0, Roy Jones Jr., Wilfred Benitez, Wilfredo Gomez, Julio Cesar Chavez, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Hearns, Mike Tyson, Salvador Sanchez, Hector Camacho, Marvin Hagler, Carlos Monzon, Rod 
Rodrigo Valdez, Roberto Duran, Juan Laporte, Felix Trinidad, Edwin Rosario, Bernard Hopkins, Alexis Arguello, Nigel Ben, Lennox Lewis, Vitaly Klitschko, Eric Morales, Miguel Cotto, Manny Pacquiao, Canelo Alvarez, Tony Ballou, and Maris Bredis. In its discretion, the WBC may designate and recognize, upon a two-thirds majority vote of their Board of Governors, one or more emeritus world champions in each weight class. Such a recognition is for life and is only bestowed upon present or past WBC world champions. The following boxers have earned the Emeritus Championship appellation throughout their careers, Lennox Lewis, Vitaly Klitschko, Roy Jones Jr., Bernard Hopkins honorary champion, Michael Kessler, Sergio Gabriel Martinez, Floyd Mayweather Jr., Kostya Tszyu, Manny Pacquiao, Danny Garcia, Eric Morales, Toshiaki Nishioka, Vic Darchinian, Edgar Sosa and Tony Ballou. During the WBC's 51st convention in Bangkok, Thailand, Floyd Mayweather was named, ''Supreme Champion'', a designation that nobody before him has ever achieved. The WBC bolstered the legitimacy of women's boxing by recognizing fighters such as Christy Martin and Lucia Ricca as contenders for world female titles in 16 weight divisions. The first WBC World Female Champion on the 30th of May 2005 was the super bantamweight Jackie Nava from Mexico. With her former champion father at ringside, Layla Ali won the super middleweight title on the 11th of June 2005. Topic: <laughs> WBC Silver. In 2010, the WBC created a «silver» championship, intended as a replacement to interim titles. Justin Savey was the first boxer to win a silver title after defeating Cyril Thomas on April 16, 2010. Unlike its interim predecessor, a boxer holding the silver title cannot automatically inherit a full world title vacated by the champion. The WBC continues to recognize interim and silver champions, as well as interim silver champions. A year later, the WBC introduced silver versions to its international titles. Diamond Championship In September 2009, the WBC created its new Diamond Championship belt. This belt was created as an honorary championship exclusively to award the winner of a historic fight between two high-profile and elite boxers. The inaugural diamond belt was awarded on 14 November 2009 to Manny Pacquiao, who won his sixth world title in five different divisions via a 12th round technical knockout TKO over Miguel Cotto at welterweight in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Other holders of this title have included Maris Bredis cruiserweight, Bernard Hopkins light heavyweight, Callum Smith super middleweight, Sergio Martinez and Saul Alvarez middleweight, Floyd Mayweather Jr. super welterweight, Errol Spence Jr. welterweight, Regis Progre super lightweight, Nonito Donaire super bantamweight and bantamweight, Leo Santa Cruz featherweight, Jean Pascal, Sergey Kovalev light heavyweight, Mikey Garcia super lightweight and Jorge Linas lightweight. Although this title can be defended, it is not a mandatory requirement. The title can also be vacated in the case of a fighter's long-term absence or retirement from boxing. <laughs> Eternal Championship WBC Eternal Championship is an honorary title awarded to dominant champions that have never lost a world title, and retired undefeated while having a solid number of successful title defenses. Giselle Salandi was awarded the Eternal title as she defended the WBC female super welterweight title five times before her death on January 4, 2009. On December 12, 2016, Vitaly Klitschko was recognized as, "...eternal champion", 
As he had ten successful WBC heavyweight title defenses during his career before his retirement in 2013 and has never been knocked down throughout his career. Controversies In early 1998, Roy Jones Jr. announced that he was relinquishing his WBC light heavyweight title. In response, the WBC ordered a bout between Graciano Rocigiani from Germany and the former champion Michael Nunn to fill the vacancy, sanctioning it as a world championship match. On 21 March 1998, Rocigiani won the fight and a WBC belt. In the subsequent WBC rankings, he was listed as light heavyweight world champion. Jones, however, had a change of heart and asked if the WBC would reinstate him as the champion. In a move that violated nearly a dozen of its own regulations, the WBC granted the reinstatement. Rocigiani received a letter from the WBC advising that the publication of his name as champion was a typographical error, and he had never been the official title holder. Rocigiani immediately filed a lawsuit against the WBC in a U.S. federal court, claiming that the organization's actions were both contrary to their own rules, and injurious to his earning potential due to diminished professional stature. On 7 May 2003, the judge ruled in Rochigiani's favor, awarding him $30 million US in damages and reinstating him as a former WBC champion Rochigiani had lost a bout since his WBC title match. The following day, the WBC sought protection by filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy i.e., corporate debt restructuring in Puerto Rico. The organization spent the next 13 months trying to negotiate a six-figure settlement with Rochigiani, but the fighter at first rejected the proposal. On the 11th of June 2004, the WBC announced it would enter Chapter 7 bankruptcy liquidation, i.e., business closing and total asset sell-off proceedings, effectively threatening its existence. This action prompted some in the boxing community to plead with Rochigiani to settle the dispute, which he did in mid-July 2004. <laughs> Don King Many in the boxing community have accused the WBC of bending its rules to suit the powerful boxing promoter Don King. The journalist Jack Newfield wrote, "...WBC President José Suleiman became more King's junior partner than his independent regulator." Another journalist, Peter Heller, echoes that comment, "...Suleiman became little more than an errand boy for Don King." Heller quotes British promoter Mickey Duff as saying, my complaint is that Jose Suleiman is not happy his friend Don King is the biggest promoter in boxing. Suleiman will only be happy when Don King is the only promoter in boxing." Newfield and Heller take issue with the following actions of the WBC. When Leon Spinks won the WBA and WBC heavyweight championships from Muhammad Ali in 1978, the WBC stripped Leon Spinks of his title. Jose Suleiman said the WBC did so because Spinks was signed for a rematch with Ali instead of fighting a Don King fighter, Ken Norton. Norton defended the WBC title against another Don King fighter, Larry Holmes, who won the belt. In 1983, WBC super featherweight champion Bobby Chaikin was signed to fight Cornelius Boza Edwards, the WBC's mandatory challenger for his title. But, the promoter Don King wanted his fighter, Hector Camacho, to fight for the title. Although WBC rules said the mandatory challenger should receive a shot at the title, the WBC withdrew its sanction from the fight. It stripped Chaikin of his title for refusing to fight Camacho. 
Under WBC rules, a fighter is supposed to defend his title against a mandatory challenger at least once a year. For fighters controlled by Don King, this rule is often ignored. For instance, as WBC champions, Alexis Arguello and Carlos Zarate, were allowed to ignore their obligations to their mandatory contenders. While WBC super featherweight champion, Julio Cesar Chavez wanted to fight top contender Roger Mayweather for a promoter other than Don King. The WBC withheld its sanction of the fight until Don King became promoter. When Mike Tyson lost to James Buster Douglas during an IBF, WBC and WBA heavyweight championship defense, King convinced the WBC along with the WBA to withhold recognition of Douglas as heavyweight champion. King claimed that Tyson had won the fight due to knocking down Douglas, and the referees giving Douglas a long count. The referee Octavio Merrin, in an affidavit, claims that King threatened to have the WBC withhold payment of Merrin's hotel bill if Merrin did not support King's protest. Because of intense public pressure, both the WBA and WBC backed down and recognized Douglas as champion. In 1992, the WBC threatened to strip Evander Holyfield of his title for defending it against Riddick Bowe instead of Razor Ruddick. Holyfield obtained a court order to stop the organization. In a taped deposition for the United States Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations, Holyfield said that the WBC wanted him to defend his championship against Ruddick because Ruddick was managed by King. During the 1990s, the WBC did not allow its champions to engage in unification bouts with WBO champions. However, in 1993, the super middleweight showdown between WBC champion Nigel Benn and WBO champion Chris Eubank, promoted by Don King, was recognized as a title unification fight by the WBC. The bout was fought to a draw and each retained their respective titles. When Mike Tyson was released from prison in 1995, the WBC installed him as their number one contender for their heavyweight championship. Tyson had not fought in four years, but was promoted by Don King. In 1993, Julio César Chávez, managed and promoted by Don King, got a majority draw against Pernell Whitaker in their WBC welterweight title fight in San Antonio, Texas. Virtually every ringside observer and boxing analyst had Whitaker winning at least eight or nine of the 12-round fight, and CompuBox statistics showed Whitaker outlanding Chávez by a wide margin. But two of the three judges had the fight scored even. The fight was promoted by King, and two of the judges were not appointed by the state's boxing commission in this case, Texas like any other time, instead, they were appointed by the WBC. It had been reported that Don King had a hand in helping to secure the WBC judges for the fight. To this day, the resulting draw is considered one of the most controversial decisions ever. In 2000, Chavez, still promoted by King, was the mandatory challenger for Costia Su's WBC super lightweight title. Chavez did not appear to satisfy requirements for a mandatory challenger, he had not fought at super lightweight for two years, had recently lost to journeyman boxer Willie Wise, and had not beaten a top contender since losing his first fight to Oscar de la Hoya in 1996. In 2005, the WBC stripped Javier Castillejo of his super welterweight title for fighting Fernando Vargas instead of Ricardo Mayorga, a fighter promoted by Don King. The WBC qualified Mayorga for a shot at the super welterweight title although he had never fought at that weight limit and had lost two of his last three fights. Topic: Current WBC world title holders. As of June 7, 2019. Topic: 
Affiliated organizations Oriental and Pacific Boxing Federation North American Boxing Federation European Boxing Union Asian Boxing Council African Boxing Union United States National Boxing Council USNBC Caribbean Boxing Federation CABOFE Central American Boxing Federation FECARBOX Slovenian Boxing Bureau CISBB South American Continental Boxing Federation FECONSUR Hispanic World Boxing Association ABMH World Boxing Council Muay WBC Muay Topic Transitions of WBC titles List of WBC World Champions List of WBC International Champions List of WBC Youth Champions List of WBC Female World Champions See also WBC Legends of Boxing Museum <laughs>